you know what, let's just book it. Seahawks Super Bowl champs, it's happening. This team looked good every single portion of the game. They dominated, they were fast, they were versatile, I can't even say the word right. The Seahawks were on fire. They were electric in this game. They played so well, we as fans didn't have to sit through a fourth quarter, give away the lead, or make it really, really close. We had to sit through a game where they dominated throughout. And you know, I gotta say, the start of the game, the Colts started out with like this 10 minute drive and you're like, whoa, that was quick, or that was fast. Wait, slow. My goodness, I can't even get the right word out of me. But the very beginning of the game, you're like, oh my gosh, that was, that was a long drive, a lot of clock. But Seattle stopped them and they only gave up three. It was that bend but don't break defense of old we saw today. There was times where they bended, but they didn't break. They got to the quarterback, Carson Wentz. I mean, he had a good game. I gotta say, I, I, if you're a Colts fan, don't even be upset at this loss. I think Carson Wentz is a good fit for your team. I, I really do. I just think that there is certain dynamics that Seattle was just better in. And that doesn't mean that they can't fix these issues. It's a long season, 17 games now. But it was a great game to watch Seattle just dominate in so many sides of the field that they didn't do last year. It was like things came together and this was week one. It was the, and the, the thing that was great is they got off to a hot, hot start. Usually Seattle doesn't score on their first drive or their second or their third. First quarter is usually un, unbelievably bad. And then they kind of scramble, get a good second or third, fourth. They came out hot and they finished well throughout. The third quarter was kind of no team really did anything. Then the fourth quarter came, both teams scored a touchdown, but Seattle was up 21, 10 at half. They kept the lead, they stayed strong, and they pick up the victory. Seattle moves to 1-0 on the year. Russell Wilson got it going. Tyler Lockett, man, extending him was such a great idea to start the season. He is such a good fit for this Shane Waldron offense. I mean, my gosh, this guy got at it today. I, I just love watching Tyler Lockett. Every single time I see him play, I just think what a competitor, what a fierce competitor this man is. Each and every week, he just goes out and balls out. I mean, that catch that he had, that, that catch where he just was looking one direction and just caught it over the shoulder, it was just like, Wow, that guy is a premium football player. And Seattle, I'm gonna be honest, they got a discount for this man. I think when they re-signed him or extended him, I was kind of like, oh man, that's a lot of money. But seeing plays like that and then the 69 yard touchdown pass, it was incredible. And you know, I think a huge reason why Seattle was to win this game the way they did was because the run game was going. The run game got after it. It changed up how the Colts were playing this game. Because you look at the offensive last year, they kind of went for deep stuff. They couldn't really have much, you know, stuff that was kind of short routes. They just went deep. But this year, I mean, if one game, that's all we're going to say. Sample size may be small. We have a lot more to see of this wall drop. It's one game. They were able to run the jet sweep well. They were able to run uh, tight ends across the field well. They were able to get the short routes going. The running game was going. And then they got the deep ball. And that's the key, I think, that was missing with Seattle's offense in the past, is they went so much deep, deep, deep. Whereas this game, everything was kind of connected. And they got, they got 28 points. That's a good football game, all right? 28 points is not easy to come by. Four touchdown passes for Russell Wilson. DK Metcalf got in the mix. Gerald Everett got in the mix of a touchdown. Tyre Lockett got two. This was a good football game on offense. That's just the offense. Then the defense, you know, that bend but don't break, like I just shared. Bend but don't break. They were able to stop this team and only give up two touchdowns. That's a good game. That's a darn good game. You know, this, this, offense of Indianapolis Colts, many may say, oh, they're not that great. But I think Carson Wentz will surprise a lot of people this year. I just think the O-line had struggles all day long. And the D-line of Seattle, the O-line of Seattle, they were both great. Usually in past season, I, I felt like Seattle has a good O-line. Well, okay, that's that, that might be extending there. But they'll have a decent O-line or they're kind of meshing together and the D-line's kind of do, not doing so great. Kind of last year, you know, they they kind of like flipped. The first eight weeks, Seattle's offensive line was really, really good. And then it kind of just flipped. The D-line started playing well, but at the beginning they weren't with the addition of Carlos Dunlap. But the O-line and D-line was on fire tonight or today. They did a great job and Seattle's walking out with victory. I, I can't see really 
too many things to critique in this game. I mean, there was a touchdown pass given up, uh, Trey Flowers and single coverage, but I think he's gonna get better with time. I think overall, this was just a good victory. On paper, I mean, I shared with you guys that I thought they were gonna win. Obviously, the rest of my picks, if you watch that video, are not so good right now. I mean, some of these games, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I, I was wrong. I was big wrong. But this team played great. And I'm, I'm excited to see how the rest of the season pans out for Seattle. They played with a, with just grit and tenacity. They got after it. It was like, this is Seahawks football. This is what we've been kind of like watching. Like, is this going to happen? It's like Russell Wilson got four touchdowns, man. He balled out. Russell had a game. Everything he was throwing was good. I mean, just it was it was awesome to watch this was a good seahawks victory it was good to start out the season this way they got tennessee next week at home in lumen field and you know if you watch this game let me know your thoughts i think overall though they played well you know throughout the game they just were gelling together they were able to get that rush game the jet sweeps as i mentioned d eskridge i mean the addition of him he played really well his first game i really hope he's all right i, I don't really know the extent of what happened in the sense of after the game when i'm recording this but it looked like he may have had a concussion he got stung really bad he had a jet sweep got into open field and he just got hit so hard by two two defenders and and i'm really hoping that he's going to be okay they come out of this game you know, there's a couple injuries here and there. Rashad Penny unfortunately got hurt. His calf, he was out for the rest of the game. Ethan Poshik, he got hurt a little bit. Uh, but regardless, I think Seattle comes out of this game with a lot of positives. And I mean a lot of positives. I think the biggest positive for me watching this game was just the simple fact that they were able to keep a lead and stick with it. They didn't put any break on the gas, okay? They didn't take their gas off. They didn't take their foot off the pedal so to speak. I can't even speak too clear right now, but they didn't take their foot off the gas. They were gung-ho throughout the whole game and it led them to a 28 to 16 victory. You know, overall the stats of, of Seattle's offense, they dominated. They just really dominated this football game. It was good to see, it was good to watch. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm gonna be giving more reviews on some other games as I watch them. I'm trying to do my best to make you quality content each and every week. I would love a like if you could provide that to this video but overall i'd really enjoy hearing a comment or seeing a comment from you guys of what you thought of this game what what were your thoughts for the first game of seattle's season in 2021 this this offense was shane waldron this could be the best offense that seattle has ever had and that's a bold prediction but just the first week and i'm probably like whoa it's one week dude relax but it's like they just play different it wasn't like the old offenses of the past. Even when they had that not so great third quarter, they played different as compared to the offense in the past. It was like they were just kind of slow, but it's like the up tempo. Shane Waldron, I think, watched for many years as being on the Rams staff, seeing what Seattle would do well. He's able to see that that strength of Seattle. Because I think up tempo is how Seattle should play more often. It really, they they get going. They got the guys for it. That up tempo is going to help this team be a force to be reckoned with in the NFC. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one.